What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 11 team builder for the NCL or the Nambasa City League. Um, I'm recording this the same day that I played Nacho, uh, which is very far in advance of our week 11 uh, match, potentially. Um, yeah, actually, potentially like not uh, 13 days in advance or something, but I'm feeling sick and next week is... My last week of the semester so it's gonna be pretty hectic that way so i kind of want to just get this out of the way which won't be relevant when i upload this but there you go um this week we're playing mudsdale and the denver bruxish his team consists of mega sable chancy toxpex tangrowth umbreon ditto trap inch skarmory sigilith aromatis and zorwark for some reason i let him draft full stall um he's only actually stalled like one game <laughs> Um, he's been bringing a lot of nifty sets on these Pokemon, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, if we win this game, then we clinch ourselves a playoff spot. And depending on the outcome of the Week 10 games for my divisional opponents, Magic and Cade, we also could clinch the division if we win this game. So it's pretty important that we win this game. Um, well, it's not that important, actually. It's not imperative that we win this game, but it's nice to clinch. It's nice for the divisional purposes that we win this game. Um, otherwise, we can hope that the bottom two teams in our conference lose in the same week, and then we would also clinch a playoff spot. So it, it's not guaranteed that we need this to clinch the playoff spot, but if we win, we seal our fate and our own destiny. Um, he has priority in Umbreon with Sucker Punch and Zoroark with Sucker Punch. He has Hazard Setting and Toxic Specs with Toxic Spikes. Chansey with Stealth Rock. Skarmory with Stealth Rock and, talk, um, and Regular Spike. And he has two removal options in Sigilyph with Defog, Skarmory with Defog. And I guess you can kind of count Mega Sableye with Magic Bounce as well. He has no 4 times weaknesses, so that's kind of no, nothing to abuse there. Um, yeah, playoff implications for us is solid. Um, for him, he might also need to win this game to clinch playoffs. He's got a solid chance to clinch playoffs this week that we're in now, which is week 10. Um, he also could clinch based on other factors. Uh, he's also leading his division, um, so he might need this win for various things anyways. Um, basically, regardless, this match means a lot for both of us. Uh, I know he's probably going to want to come up swinging, and my team can't necessarily deal with his team super well, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the, th the problem is that we might actually end up playing in playoffs too, so we'll see We'll see what happens. Um, we're going to start with my first Pokemon. We're bringing Paul 13. The plan is to bring Celesteela to every single match this season. I don't care if Mortal knows that. Uh, Mortal is my week 12 opponent. Celesteela is busted in draft format, and I'm going to bring it to every single game. That's basically the plan. Um, I tried bringing a very offensive Celesteela, mostly at the beginning of the season, and it didn't work out for me. Turns out my team has a lot of offensive tools built into it, and Celesteela... <sighs> Celesteela needs to fill more of a defensive role sometimes. So, running Toxic Leech Seed Protect and Air Slash. Goal is to try and Toxic Sol something like an Umbreon. Obviously, I can't be synchronized back. Um, I wish I could trap with Celesteela. Well, I could. I could bring Block um, and get rid of Air Slash, but that's maybe the play. No, no, it's not the play. Because then if Sigilyph is Magic Guard Cosmic Power, then I'd lose. So, no, we're not going to do that, but that could be an interesting idea for the future. Um, Toxic Leech Seed Protect Air Slash. Air Slash is the only move I need to hit his team with. He only has Skarmory that resists it, and everything else takes good damage from it. Um, Chance he's obviously not going to take a whole lot. AV Tangrowth basically gets two shot by it anyways. Um, well, not with my investment, but AV Tangrowth gets gets hit real hard. So does Offensive Sigilyph. Make a save boy. <sighs> if it's defensive, excuse me. Um, Protect is there to get lots of Leech Seed and Leftovers recovery, as well as Toxic Stall, effectively. He has two knockoff users, three knockoff users on his team in Zoroark, Mega Sableye, and Toxapex. So I gotta watch out for that. Four, Tangrowth gets knockoff too. Uh, I'd love to keep my Leftovers. Um, 
I count a lot, and this bulk makes it so that we do not get two shot by offensive Sigalyph's heat wave. He would have to run timid if he was running offensive to outpace Darmanitan, so that's the plan. Oh my god, pardon me, I'm turning into A drive. Uh, modest with 8 investment. We're going to be getting special defense boosts, which is not the best. I'd love to be getting special attack boosts, but uh, not really much I can do about it at this point. So that's kind of the play. Um, we're not natch. Well, we're not really out speeding much, but with the without the minus uh, speed nature, we're out speeding a lot of stuff anyways. Uh, next up is Elefante, our Donphan. Bringing on a reasonably offensive one. It's kind of physically defensive, kind of offensive with Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Roar. Uh, I've got Roar on there in case Sigalyph wants to set up. I don't want to deal with that garbage. Same with Mega Sableye. Well, Mega Sableye, I can't really stop, but because um, the Roar would just bounce back on me. So that could be pretty bad, actually, in the long run. Uh, I could try and flinch it with Celesteela. I don't know. Like, Calm on Mega Sableye I might just run through my team. Who knows? Um, Earthquake hits the Toxpex, potentially. It, it basically hits his entire team, bar Sigalyph and Skarmory. I'm trying to hit Chansey as best as I can, to be honest with you as well. Knock off to get rid of items, especially a Violate on something like a Trap Inch or a Chansey, potentially Focus Ash from Trap Inch. Salt Fest on Tangrowth, whatever, uh, Black Sludge on Toxpex. Um, I'd love to get rid of Zoroark's item too, knowing what the hell that is. Uh, Spec Zoroark with Flamethrower does still two-shot this Celesteel set, so that's annoying as fuck. Um, bring Mega Beedrill Stripes. Mega Beedrill picking up the six kills in our last game against Nacho, pushing it up to 11 kills on the season now, which is actually pretty solid. Toxic Spike, U-turn, Poison Jab, Knockoff. Excuse me for a sec. <sighs> he does have two forms of removal, um, and he, if he brings Tox Specs, they'll suck them up. But T spikes are going to be really helpful to wear things down. Uh, if I can get the Toxic off on them. You turn to get into something that can do more damage, unless we're in on um, Umbreon and then U turns the most damage. Um, poison jab is just really good um, stab. It's also there to hit the Aromatisse if I need to. Knockoff is the last move. I really couldn't think of what I wanted the last move. I seem to remember Twin Needle poisoning steel types, but apparently that was way back in Gen 2 only. So. Um, opted not to bring Twin Needle. I was doing a bunch of research and I can't poison talk specs with it either, otherwise I would have brought Twin Needle. Running Max Attack Adamant with almost max HP, this tiny, tiny, tiny bit of speed lets us outrun Zoroark always. Um, sorry, I'm not, I'm, if you scarf the one I'm running it, but we're outspeeding Timid Max Zoroark, uh, which it, he wouldn't bring anyways, but that's potentially what we're doing it for. <sighs> Goodness gracious, I'm tired. Um, Builder, our girder is next up. Rocking the Oviolite. Might not need the Oviolite, but I'm rocking it anyways. Um, with Guts, because I think that he's going to try and t um, status me, just like I'm statusing him. With Drain Punch, Facade, Knockoff, and Toxic. Uh, I'm running Toxic on quite a few mods. Am I? One, two? Running Toxic on two mods with Toxic Spikes. Uh, it's really helpful. If I get status with Guts Facade, we're hitting ridiculously hard, so that's really fun. Drain Punch for a really good recovery. Knock off to get rid of those pesky items. Uh, max Attack Adamant with max HP, 8 defense. Don't really need to put it anywhere else. And all I'm scared of is like an Aromatisse Moonblast, which two shots me regardless of my defensive investment. So I am decided to... <laughs> not put spe specialty, special defense investment in the, into this. Uh, we're going to be destroying Chansey with this, destroying Umbreon with this, so I'm happy about those. Um, also, this is really cool. If he wants to switch in Umbreon on my status moves, then Facade is going to destroy it. Obviously, Mega Sableye is a really good switch into this, and it can bounce the Toxic back on myself, but Umbreon switching in on the Toxic, it'll get Toxic, it'll synchronize it back, and then my Facades are boosted. Um, actually, everything's boosted. Drain Punch would likely f Oko at that point, but that's kind of the thought with Girder. Uh, next up is Hydragon, bringing a Life Orb physical Hydragon. Uh, I think Special is kind of walled by a lot of his team. 
Things like AV Tangro switch into Special Hydra, things like Chansey switch in really well, things like Toxpex switch in really well, things like Aroma T switch in really well, the special, but a physical one uh, goes pretty hard. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, Roost Crunch Superpower U turn. The fact that this thing gets Roost really helps me run Life Orb, <laughs> honestly. Um, Superpower demolishes Chansey and Umbreon, U-turn for some momentum, I don't know, I kind of just like playing the momentum game. Um, Roost for recovery, obviously. Running a ton of speed on here, uh, Jolly almost max to outrun max speed Timid Sigilyph if he does bring an offensive one. With max attack and 8 and HP. Uh, last but not least, we're bringing a nifty Darmanitan set. I've been bringing mostly Scarf this entire season, but this is a really cool one. One that Muddy's actually used before. Um, I'm in Muddy's front office, and he built the set, and I was like, oh, that's really neat. So we'll see if he sees it coming. He probably won't expect it, but it might be in the back of his mind. We'll bring a sub Belly Bellydrum Darmanitan with Earthquake and Fire Punch as his two moves. Fire Punch wasn't enough to blow through his team, unfortunately, um, but Earthquake lets me kill the Toxpex, which is the only thing that Fire Punch wasn't killing, a plus six. Um, I'm running enough speed on here to outrun the uh, max speed Skarmory, in case he's bringing one of those. Um, this is dangerous if he brings Ditto. I'm not expecting Ditto. This is dangerous if he brings Trap Inch. I'm not expecting Trap Inch. This is dangerous if he brings Sigilyph, I'm not expecting Sigilyph. Um, max attack Adamant, we're gonna hit like a truck with plus six. Basically nothing's living. Um, that's basically the story. Just like how plus three Mega Beedrill tore through Nacho's team, plus six Darmanitan tears through Mudsteel's team. Uh, he did not draft an Unaware Mon, so he has nothing to do with that. Um, if I have a sub up, Ditto can't copy me. <laughs> And I basically need to just ensure that Sturdy on the Skarmory is broken if he's running a Sturdy set. If he's running the Weak Armor set, then that's fine. Um, I can sub on a lot of things. I haven't run the Calc, but I I should try and find out if Chansey's S-Toss will break my sub. It probably will, because it'll be doing 100 damage. It might be close. You can see my HP value there. It, it might be close. Well, 400 it would still. So no, it will still break my sub, unfortunately. Um, things like Umbreon, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I can do this on. Possibly Aromatisse, actually. Possibly Aromatisse, actually. Uh, running enough bulk on here that Moonblast isn't gonna do anything. And he might just go for the Protect on like a Flare Blitz or something like that to scout out what I want to go for in case I'm Scarfed or Bandage or something. So that's kind of my play is to set up on the Aromatisse then if he brings Aromatisse, I guess. Huh. Didn't really think about what I was going to set up on. Anyways, it's a good set <laughs> if I can set up. Um, Select Berry obviously increases our speed, so uh, once that pops we'll be faster than everything bar Scarf Zoroark or Scarf Sigilyph. Um, neither of which I'm super concerned about and he would have to bring them in and show off that he's scarfed for Ditto to copy me if he opts to bring Ditto so we kind of just plow through his team with the Starman fan set anyways that's the team I'm looking forward to the game and uh, we play Mudsdale in week 11 and I'll catch you guys for the match